Hello all, Jamie Rogers here today for Craft Mania with my brand new hand picked by bundle for August. Now I know we say this a lot, but I have a feeling you're going to love this bundle. And oh my goodness, do we have a saving and a half for you. Before we even look at them actually, I'm going to tell you the recommended retail price for the bundle we're looking at today is £66.47p. Now by now you probably know our hand-picked bundles are only £30 and that includes free UK delivery. So everything I'm going to show you, you can get for £30 worth over £66, so an incredible saving. And I think this is probably going to be our quickest sellout bundle yet. But I might be wrong, but we'll see. Let's take you through it and see what you think. So, we have three sets of dies, all designed by the incredible Sue Wilson. We have this one, which I absolutely love. This is your pearly snowflake design. This is your border one. So as you can see, we can take this, we can match it up, we can make larger borders with it. It's all in one die. So everything you need is there. One pass through your machine and this is going to cut out for you. All of these lovely pearly bits you see hanging down here, so all of these decorative pieces, they're left as a solid. So if you wish to add on glitter, 3D accents, pearls or gems, you can absolutely do that. It'll also extend on quite easily. So if you wanted to make this into a larger border, I, I don't know why, I was going to say for scrapbooking, but I keep imagining this wrapped around the end of your crackers if you're going to make crackers this Christmas I think that would look really really pretty but it's one of those that you could use in so many ways if we turn it that way and wrapped it around a candle as decoration I think that could look quite pretty but to be honest it can go in any direction that you wish to use it so just as a decorative panel whether it is for home decor Christmas decorations card breaking scrapbooking I think that one's going to come in a treat we then have for you this one. Now, this is the first time I've actually seen this die. This is the Twas the Night die set. Now, in here, you actually receive three different dies. And I'm going to show them to you so you can see what that actually entails. So we have our lovely sentiment, which is a separate die all on its own. We then have our backing plate. Now, this can be cut out to create a backing plate or it can be cut out to create an aperture in which you can then sink your main panel or raise your main panel, depending on how you wish to use it. Now, unlike some of Sue's dies, where you would have to bring this part in and put it round that die to create an outside cutting edge, this die has its own cutting edge already on it. So the second you cut that, it's gonna cut out all this area in the middle, it's gonna cut out round the edge, and you're gonna receive that lovely panel as you see it. There's also some really nice detailed embossing going down the holly and including the berries and these lovely little dots which match in on your Christmas tree that again you can add gems to, pearls, 3D accents, glitter as you wish. So again a really lovely die to work with. This one is also quite easy to snip about as well so if you'd like to build this up into a bigger scene or use the items individually you absolutely can do. But with three dies you've got quite a few options with that one as well. Moving on to our third die. Now remember this is only £30 for this bundle. Third die. This is your third one. This is our mosaic bauble background. Now, I absolutely love this die. This has four different components in its one set. As you can see, we've got this mosaic frame, which could be used all year round. We then have these incredible hanging baubles in the middle. On top of that, we have two other blades as well, two other dies to go in with the set. So if I bring this in and show it to you, if I can pick them up, here we go. So this is your outside edge. So we have an incredible pierced detail edge, which again could be used just for mats and layers anytime you want to use it. You then have your mosaic panel. Now this can be used to just cut into your cardstock because there's no edge attached to either side of it. So if you wanted to put that onto the front of your card and cut into it at any stage, you can do. If you put it into the outside edge, you can have it as a separate topper element with that mosaic running around it. You could of course cut it out like this, then cut a panel to go beneath it with this die and have a different color shine through under your mosaic. To continue on with options, we then have your middle panel. So you could, of course, leave that part in on its own and cut that as an aperture on the front of your card, meaning that this part would be open with this lovely mosaic all around the edges of it. Or we can bring in the outside edge as well and have it as its very own frame. Again, if you'd like to cut back ends to go underneath the frame, simply remove that part and you can then make a lovely coloured background to go underneath the mosaic area. 
On top of that, we then have the panel that goes in the middle of the baubles. So again, you can use this on your own. There's no outside blade to this one. So it will actually stay in your cardstock as you see it cut. Or of course, you can use it with the frame that comes on the inside to give you the ability to cut that out as a separate panel. Or if you prefer, you can leave it inside this one without that blade or that die included and then it would actually cut in and stay in the middle of that mosaic frame once again if we remove this outside edge you could actually just cut and leave this part completely in your card so hopefully i've run you for a few of the ways in which you could use this die but to be honest with four different dies there's lots of options and ways you could be playing with that one so with so far we've gone through all three of the dies in the bundle now these I'm actually going to have to borrow these because I had one pack to do my samples with and I've got so taken with them. I've used all of the ones I was meant to use for the whole of this sort of kit and video and prep just on samples. So when we get on to actually doing our demo for today's um, bundle, I'm going to have to steal one of the keys out of here. But these are MDF Santa keys. They're already cut for you. You simply just pop them out and you can then decorate them as you wish to. If you want to colour them with polishes or paints or inks or any other mediums that you wish to, you absolutely can do. Today we're going to be colouring them with some gilding flakes and I think you'll really like how that looks. On top of that, we have a stencil for you. So this again is designed by our lovely Sue Wilson. This is our Pine Forest stencil, and it is a six by six stencil cut from Mylar. Now this again can of course be used with all of the mediums you would like to see it used with, or you can put it through your machine with a rubber mat and emboss it. Never forget that you can emboss your stencils to create the most incredible backgrounds or embossed effects. This is one I really like to use with Pixie Sparkles using clear texture paste on acetate. You might have seen some of my cards created previously with this um, actual stencil and those products. But you can use this in so many ways, whether it's inks, pixies, polishes, whatever you wish to work with, you can absolutely do that as well. We then have for you two different stamps and we have two different woodware stamps. Now we have got for you the leafy tree designed by Jane Gill and we also have for you the festive panel. Now as you can see these are quite designed to go together. There's elements that are going to work together with them quite nicely. We have a few different sentiments as well. We've got season's greetings on the one with the tree here. Running down this one across the top we have got have a jolly Christmas and a wonderful new year. At the top here, we have May Your Christmas Be Blessed With Peace and Joy. And then you also have these two really cool worker stamps. And by that, I mean these are stamps you can bring in to create backgrounds with. You could use them underneath your flowers if you want to. You could even just stamp the poinsettia from the middle of this, cut that out if you wish to, and then layer it with these background pieces. So there's a lot of ways you can use your panel and your two pieces. And we're going to be using this in the demo. The tree itself, I really like this one because it's very easy to snip out if you want to use it like that. If you want to create a tree aperture and you might not have a die, you could quite easily cut it out with a knife and use it to create your aperture. Or on one of the cards I've done, I've just cut down one half of it and show you how you can make sort of an on the edge effect with this one, which again could come in really handy to make up gatefold cards with a tree on each end. But I'll show you that when we get onto the samples. Then on top of that, to round out your bundle, so we've already gone through three dies, a stencil, two stamps, and your Santa keys. You're also gonna get a heritage ink pad. Now in here, you have eight pigment colors of ink. Now these are all joined together on one stamp, so you can either take your stamps to them, press down on it and stamp in a rainbow formation. Or the way I've been using this is going in with blending tools and picking up the individual colours and then using them for things such as my stencil. But whichever way you wish to use it is a really good quality pigment ink that you can then emboss over if you wish to or leave to dry naturally. And that will complete your handpicked by bun uh, sorry handpicked by Jamie bundle for August 2022. Now, as I mentioned, this does have a recommended retail value of £66.47p. But you can get yours while we've got them for just £30. Now, as I'm sure you can imagine, stocks are limited. This is one hell of a price and it ain't gonna last long. So if you're looking at this and thinking I want to get my hands on this one. Please do get them while we've got them. I can't guarantee how long we're going to be able to get more of them. So although if they do sell out, we're going to try our best to get more for you. I can't guarantee they're going to be around for long. So let's show you what you can create with this, shall we? Now, I only had, I'm going to be honest with you, because I think honesty is always the best quality. 
I had one day, and I mean one day, not even a whole day really, but I had one day to do all of my samples, get ready for my videos, and do all my filming because of work-life balance at the moment is a little bit crazy in my world. So I've, I've not had long, and I wanted to try and share with you as many ideas as I could. So what I'm trying to tell you, in honesty, is that these are very quick samples. But this bundle is going to help you make very quick cards. And if you want to spend longer on them, if you want them to be more elaborate, then absolutely you can do that. And before we even start looking through these, actually, you've probably seen already, we've introduced another DT member to the Craftmania DT team. We have now got Ian Rumpsmith on board, and he is joining Lynn Lewis as our Craftmania DT team. And both of them will be sharing projects with this bundle throughout the whole of August. Now, I'm not going to guarantee anything, because life doesn't really work to plans all of the time in our world but you should see posts appear most Saturdays from Lynn Lewis and most Wednesdays from Ian and they will appear on our of course Craftmania website under the blog um, tab so if you want more inspiration we're not just going to leave you with this video there will of course be more inspiration coming through the blog through both of those and you can also keep up with everything they're doing on our um, special group as well on Facebook which is a closed group so you will have to ask permission to join but it's completely free and we only do that so that when you share your products or projects inside the group nobody outside can see them so if you want to share a card that you've made for a loved one before you've given it to them they can't see it unless they're in the group so do if you haven't already go ahead and join the group it's called create with craft mania and jamie rogers and it's on facebook and in there not only will you see a lot of posts by myself yet as i say you'll also see posts from the craft mania dt too so let's show you what i've been up to shall we this is my first card again very simple all i've done is taken that stencil placed it down onto a self-adhesive sheet sprinkled through one color of glitter removed it and added in another colour of glitter. You'll see a video for this technique on the Jamie Rogers Crafts page on Facebook if you look under videos. So again, if it's not something you've seen before, there is inspiration showing you how to do this technique with a different stencil. The key down the front here, I've just coloured that in with a metallic marker. So again, being MDF, if you just want to colour them very simply with a metallic marker, absolutely fine to do so. Moving on to our next card. Now this one's got a couple of different bits on it. We've of course got that lovely bauble die using the mosaic frame. We've also got the pearly um, border that as you can see has been extended out to virtually double length to go across the top of the card. And then we've got the season's greeting stamp which comes in with that tree stamp that was in the set of course as well. So everything you need component wise to make this card you're gonna have as well. Same as the first card. On to our third card. Then this is the one with the tree that I mentioned. So I stamped the tree with some flaking glitter glue, which I'll be showing you in today's demo to show you how to do that if that's not something you've seen done before. And then I've added on chocolate gilding flakes by Creative Expressions. These are the limited edition color that's only just been launched. And all I've done then is just trim down one side of the tree to remove that part of the card. Now, as I mentioned, you could quite easily do this coming in from both sides as a gatefold, or if you prefer, you could actually stamp it on the bottom of your card and cut away the top of the tree or the other way around to create different effects. But because it's such a simple and large shape, it's quite easy to trim bits off of it and create them edge styles. I've added in some ribbon from my own stash and some pearl card, and we'll be talking about the pearl card as well, because we also have an offer on that to coincide, of course, with the bundle, and that's gonna last throughout the month of August. I'll show you that shortly. Now, moving on, we have another one with our lovely tree. This time I've stamped it, I've heat embossed it, I've painted it in with some green ink. In the background, I've taken that lovely panel stamp by Jane Gill, and I've just extended that all the way down a piece of pearl card, and I've stamped that in black to make up my background, which is quite easy to do and quite elegant. I quite like black and gold, so it's a very easy effect to achieve with beautiful stamps. Moving on, now this one is actually using, and I'm gonna show you the dies, is actually using this set of dies to create the outside part. And then I've used the smaller die that comes wrapped around the baubles to trim in the window here. I then added on my stamp from the Jane Gill stamp set going down this area here. And then I've bought in my lovely, um, it was the night die set and actually created the inlay to go underneath it. Matched in with a little bit of pearl card and finished off with our lovely key again going down the side here and a few pearls. Very easy to achieve, but hopefully one you'll think is quite pretty. I quite enjoyed doing that one. Then we move on and we've got our lovely um, snowflake pearl border 
coming down the top here. We've also got the stamped element coming across the top, which again is from that lovely border stamp. We're going to be looking at how to do that shortly. And then behind that, we of course have our stencil. And all I've done is stippled through some flaking glitter glue over the top of the stencil and then added on my flakes over that to create the matching flake background to go in with the stamped flakes that we'll be playing with shortly. So just building up using two different techniques of two different products. Then we have this card. Now this card again is using our stencil, but this time I've used the inks from our lovely Heritage ink pad and I've used them with a blending brush and just gone over the top of the stencil. I have a pearl card, this is our ivory pearl card, to create that very vintage background. I then have another one of the keys which I've coloured with a metallic marker and of course my mosaic frame that runs around the outside of it. More of our lovely pearl card has been used on this card too, but I'll show you the colours and tell you more about that shortly. Now, when we look through that die or our lovely mosaic frame die uh, or bauble background, I should call it, sorry. When we looked at that, I said to you how easy that would be to just cut that into your card and leave it as you see it. I thought that was so stunning. I didn't really want to add any more to this card. I love white work cards and I wanted it to stay quite clean and crisp. So all I've done on the inside is just a couple of layers of white card and then I've added on that pearly border again. So when you look through the aperture, that's all you see is white and it still keeps it quite clean and crisp. You could have added an extra ribbon around the side of it if I, if I had wanted to and maybe a couple more pearls onto the baubles to finish it off slightly more. But I wanted you to see how stunning that looks with really no actual effort. It's very simple. The dies have done all the work for me. All I've had to do is cut down a couple of pieces of card. So a very simple and quick card for you to create. Now don't forget with all of the products that we share with you from Creative Expressions, as long as you've made your cards, you're absolutely more than welcome to sell as many as you'd like to. So there is an angel policy on the Creative Expressions website. If you just go onto the website and scroll all the way to the bottom and click on the tab that says angel policy. So if you want to know more, go do go and check it out. But in a nutshell, it's a very generous um, angel policy. And if you'd like to sell the creations that you make you're absolutely welcome to as long as you have made them that'll tell you a little bit more about it but absolutely sell away so moving on we have another one of our cards and this time i've used the mosaic bauble background again so we have our lovely mosaic element with one of our pearl cards on top one underneath and then one below that to actually cut out the baubles and then of course i've used our lovely sentiment stamp that again comes on that lovely set of stamps with that background that we're going to be using in the demo shortly Moving on, only two more to share with you, but a couple that will hopefully give you a bit more inspiration. This one is, of course, using our Twas the Night die set. Again, more of our pearl card. We've got the antique copper, we've got the antique gold, and we're working on top of the ivory. That lovely stamp set, again, used in the background here. You can see I had a real favourite with that one, and it's sort of snuck in in quite a few places. I've made a Z fold card, so this could open out, and then you could add a sentiment onto this panel if you'd like to. But just a nice quite elegant card that hopefully that you'll agree and again very easy to create now one thing that we haven't really touched on is how well the two dies go together i promise you everything is thought of when i try and pick these bundles and one of the things i really wanted to share with you is how the twas the night frame fits so nicely inside that mosaic bauble background so if you look you can either tuck it under or like on this card, I've actually glued it slightly over the top, which is good because it gets to show you exactly where the boundaries are of that die set. But just cut from the same colours as the mosaic frame, I think that layers up quite nicely. So of course we've got the mosaic frame, we've got the Twas the Night, and of course we've been using pearl card throughout to actually create our layers. And then the last card, the very last card, is the one we're actually going to demo. So I'll tell you a little bit about this before we talk about the pearl card. Then I'll show you how this card goes together. But this one again is using our lovely mosaic frame. We of course have our lovely background stamp and we have our key from in the same bundle. And this one's showing you how if you was to use some lovely vellum in that window, instead the light will slightly shine through and it will give you a really lovely effect. As somebody who also likes to make boxes, I could see quite easily how I could cut four of these panels and turn this into a lovely little light up box using some battery operated candles because of the light is going to shine through on that mosaic effect. Again, or a different technique for you possibly, as if you were to use our crystal tints and actually go in and colour in each of those mosaic areas, that could look really pretty too. And the good bit with crystal tints is you could even sprinkle in some glitter. So if you were after making some Christmas projects, you could have a bit of sparkle going on in them as well. 
So I've spoke about the pearl card a little bit. Let's show you that, shall we? So we'll come back and run through the bundle again at the end of this uh, little demo, just to remind you of all of the goodies that are in there. But hopefully the cards gave you a bit of inspiration of what you could be creating. Now, pearl card, we do loads of, oh, there's so much new card on the website, actually. Um, and it's not all foundations, but there is loads of new card on there. So if you haven't been on the website recently and seen all the different types of card that we've had come in stock, do go have a little look. But with that in mind, we have got an offer for you on our Foundations Pearl card. Now, there's more colours than what I'm sharing with you here. But because I've been using it so heavily in all my sample cards, we decided that we would give you 15% off of all of the packets throughout the month of August. So these will stay permanently with 15% off the whole time we can keep them in stock all the way through August. So no rush to get these and you can certainly check your stocks and add these to your order at a later date if you want to. Again, being in the UK, if you spend over five pounds, PMP is completely free. And even with 15% off, these will be over five pounds. So you'll get free PMP, even if you just want one packet. So colour wise that I wanted to highlight for you, which are the shades I've used the most in these samples, we have got ivory, we have got midnight blue, We've got antique gold and we have got bright gold. And then lastly, I've really gone to town with the antique copper, which is one of my favourite colours. The antique copper and the midnight blue always look incredible together. But I have got a bit of a soft spot for the bright gold. And I really like the antique. And if you're going to colour, I know I've just gone for all of them, haven't I, really? But this is why I've used them. So, it, it, you know, it's the truth. But the ivory is really good to colour as well. So if you wish to build up on it with your inks, like I did on this card, that's going to look really good for you. Or I actually really like to colour my die cuts on this card um, with alcohol markers, because alcohol markers will sort of seep into the pearl and you'll still get a pearl finish. So really lovely card to work with. In each packet, you're going to receive 20 sheets. Uh, there is more colours than what I'm showing you here so do go check out the website we'll put all of the colors under the same hand picked by tab so if you click on the hand picked by tab where you will find your bundle you will also find all of the card that is on the same offer and then lastly before we move on away from cards and papers i will just tell you about this and this is one that we're going to be using in this demo this is our berry red translucent paper it's very much like a vellum to be honest but as we haven't managed to track down the official name of vellum, we're going to be honest, we're going to call it trans translucent paper. Um, this is cold though. In here, you're going to receive 10 sheets. It's 100 grams and they're £1.50. So that makes it 15 p a sheet, which is just an incredible price. And it literally is like a paper. So again, if you wanted to do your folding techniques, even tea bag folding, for instance, that's going to work really nicely. But as you can see, colour does shine through this quite nicely. So if I put my hand under here, you can still see it. And I think that's a really lovely effect, especially again, if you are going to play around with your battery operated tea lights and different items like that. But we're going to be using this in the demo. So let's once again show you the card that we're going to create. This is the card that we will be working on today to give you a, you a little idea on how you can play around with this bundle. So the first thing we're going to be doing is actually cutting in our die. So I'll, again, I'll bring back the die elements that we had. And for this demo, if I can just bring all these bits back, we're going to be using our lovely mosaic frame. Now, obviously, with the actual die in the middle, that's designed that you're going to use that as a landscape but we're actually going to use the die as a portrait so we're going to bring these pieces in and we're going to use our electronic cutting machine for this one not that it has to be an electronic cutting machine i'm just lazy and i've got it here so i'm going to use it so we're going to use our plates for this one we're going to bring in our card blank now this is one of our card blanks which is a seven by seven card blank but actually seven by seven means it's a quarter of an inch under seven by seven I know it's confusing. It's all down to the size of the envelopes. It just does it to confuse us. But we're going to bring in that lovely mosaic die and we're going to lay that on the top here. And because this is quite a busy die, instead of setting it into my machine straight on so that the roller hits all of this metal and has to get over the top of it in one go, I'm just going to place it slightly on an angle and I'm going to bring in my aperture die for this one. And I'm going to place that down in the middle as well. 
Now, I'm never going to encourage you to put two dies for a machine in one go. I do, but it's one of them things that just because I do it doesn't mean you should do it. Because if they move, I could easily damage the die. I am working on top of a magnetic plate, which does help to keep the die slightly in place. And if I was really concerned, um, then I could tape them in place. But I'm going to be right. I'm going to be naughty. We're going to send this through the machine, letting this do our cut work for us. Now this is quite an intricate die, but this shouldn't be a problem. They're so well done. Now I've noticed I've just put my card slightly off on the skew. So I'm actually going to reverse this just so I don't damage my card because I'm so intent on putting it on an angle. Forgot about the bit that overhands. Honestly, what am I lying? So we've got our die gone through. We can remove the actual die from the top here. We can take off the frame from the middle. We can lift this part out of the way. And then as we can see, all of these pieces are nice and neatly cut so we can just brush them away. And then we'll just very normally bring them over to one side so that we can clear up later. But as you can see, your card is nicely cut for you your frame is put in place and that's all I did I did exactly the same with my card and as I said my card started off as a a pack bought seven by seven I've then gone with a trimmer and I've just taken off the edge here so that that frame sits perfectly in the middle because at the moment we've got quite a wide bar here now you don't have to use this as your card blank and work in that format you don't have to trim it down I'm just going to tell you what I did to create mine so you can see it I'm then going to bring in a piece of that lovely red um, translucent paper. Don't look at me while I get rid of all my mess, Peter. Nobody needs to see me trying to just clean up on the fly. And we're going to bring in our translucent paper, we're going to lay that down and we're going to use our die to go over the top. So again this one's the one with the pierced detail in, so we've got that part ready to go. And we're going to place that down on top here. And we're going to bring back our cutting plate and we're going to send this through the machine. Now don't forget this is only 15 pierced sheet. So it's a very inexpensive material to play with. And one I think I'm going to find quite a lot of uses for. I really like the look of it. So we're sending that through. Oh. There we go. And again, we have got our perfect plate to go at the back of that opening. So if we bring this into our card and we open this out and we bring in some of our glue. So I'm going to use our Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue. And I've just decanted this into a Woodware Ultra Fine bottle. You will find both of those items on the Craft Mania website. And as always, they have 15% off at the moment because they are a show product. So if you haven't already got your Ultra Fine bottles or your glue, it's a good time to get hold of them. And then I'm going to bring in my piece of vellum. Or I can't keep calling it that. Please ignore me when I call it vellum. It's not its official name, but to me, it just feels so much like vellum. It's hard to get any other name into my mind. Now, I've got a couple of splodges there off of my little fingers, but I'm not worried about that because I'm going to cover them up anyway. The part that we cut out of the middle, so you remember when we sent this through, we got that part out of the middle. We're going to bring that in. And we're actually going to place this over the back of that window. And all will come clear soon. But I don't want the glue to shine through and for us to see it through that area. So we're going to place that over the top just to make that nice and neat. We can then hold our card off to one side for a moment and we can start on the next part. Now for our next part of this card, we're going to bring in, and I love this technique, we're going to bring in some flake and glitter glue. Now I don't know if you've ever seen flake and glitter glue before, but flake and glitter glue comes in the same bottle, so it just gets slightly confusing, as our Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue. So you've possibly seen them and not even realised that they're, they're two different glues. With our Dries Clear Glue, it is a PVA, it will dry clear. It's a great one to use. Because this is the one that I've decanted into my bottles, use all of the time. With the Flake and Glitter Glue, this is a bit of a different product. What it is, it's a, glue, it's a glue that will stay wet until you put something on top of it. So I've done quite a few videos that you can go and see on the Jamie Rogers Crafts Facebook page if you haven't seen me use this already. Um, but basically when we swipe it on, it will go on blue and it will then dry clear. And when it becomes clear, that's the time that you go ahead and you put your products on top. And as you possibly guess with the name of Flake and Glitter Glue, we can use this with any of our gilding flakes, our Aurora flakes, our glitters to create really cool finishes. Now today what we're going to do with it is we're actually going to stamp with it. 
Now I'm going to use one of the applicators that come in with the polishes. You've probably seen our polishes many, many, many times before. But whenever you purchase a polish, you get an applicator in the lid of them. And because I've got so many polishes, I tend to keep the lids separate. And I've also got to the end of a couple of my polishes. So I've got a few extra applicators. So I tend to use one of these to do this technique with. But if you haven't got a spare one of these, don't go using one because of it, it will keep it or I keep mine ready to use the next time I want to use it. So it will forever stay sticky. Use one of the blending tools, one of the wooden ones with the little foam disc on the end or felt disc, foam disc that you can take off and keep separate. Now with this applicator or that little foam disc, from the moment we've used it, either wash it through straight away, which is fine to do, or keep it in an airtight tub or container. I have a little um, like minute little lunch box that I keep this in that literally locks down and holds it in so that it stays nice and airtight and it's ready for me to use every time I want to use it and it just keeps it fresh. If you don't and it is exposed to the elements then it's a glue and it's going to dry hard and it's going to damage this and you won't be able to use it again. So now I've told you all about the sponge and the glue, let's show you what we're going to do. So I'm going to use one of my stamp presses. Again, this is one of the Woodware stamp presses. You'll find these on the website as well if you've not seen them before. You can see by mine, I've had it for quite a while. It's getting a bit warm and torn. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my applicator. I'm going to squeeze my glue up to the top of the bottle. And I'm going to pick the glue up across the sponge so that I have a nice coverage, but no lumps, no bumps, nothing too heavy. I'm then going to take this and I'm going to pad it over the top of the stamp. Now, because my stamp's dirty, which is the truth, because I never, ever wash my stamps. I'm a very mucky stamper. I'm going to, it's got black ink on there. So you can see the blue of the glue. And this is the perfect time to come in and stamp this down. So I'm going to use this on top of a piece of black card. And I'm going to stamp down. And in my head, I'm roughly going to count to about three. And then I'm going to take it away from the card sock. And if you take too long, then you will find that you stick to your car stock and you'll damage it. So try and be as quick as you can. We're then going to add some more glue. And we're going to apply this to the sponge. And we're going to go across it once again. Now this does take a little bit of practice to get this perfectly right. And we're going to match this up if we can. And we're going to do exactly the same again. Push down. Try and count roughly to three and pull away. There we go. And then we'll do one more for luck. So again, a bit more glue over the tip of the sponge, going down onto the stamp and applying that glue. Now with your stamps, it's really good to put them straight into water the second you're finished with them. Because if you don't, then again, that medium is going to dry on here and you're going to end up with a very gluey stamp for life. So it's a good idea to get that into water as soon as you can. I tend to use some hand wash and a nail brush to just take the uh, glue off of the stamp. But if you get to it quickly, it again is a water based product, so it won't harm your stamp at all. So just take it away as soon as you can. Now that we have our stamped image, now hopefully you can see that okay. I can see I've crossed over slightly in the middle here, but I'm not too worried about that. It's only a background. We're going to bring in a piece of paper and we're going to bring in some flakes. Now, when I did my card, I used, where are they? I used golden jewels. But as you can see, I haven't got many of them left. So today I thought I would actually make the same card, but we would play around instead with the chocolate gilding flakes. Now the chocolate gilding flakes, these are the limited edition ones from Creative Expressions. They've only just come out, um, but as I say, they are limited edition. When they're gone, they're gone. And in these, you will also see lots of shades of gold. There are little um, copper bits. There are some chocolatey bits. There's even these really nice little greeny bits as well. I love these, I think they're such a beautiful colour. So we're just going to carry on burnishing these down on top of the glue that was there. Now, as I mentioned, this will stay tacky for a very long time. So even if you have to take a break or you leave it to one side or you do all your batch stamping while you've got your stamp covered in the glue and then come back and add your flakes, that's not a problem at all. The glue will stay tacky until you put items on top of it, such as flakes or glitter or any of them finishing touches you would like to add. Now I'm just going to carry on burnishing this down so that it's nice and in place. Then we're going to try and get back all of my flakes so I can pop them back into the pot. 
Now I never do this very successfully. So please don't watch me and think, oh, they're that bad to work with. It's more a me thing than a flake thing. I always somehow end up more covered in them than the project I'm working on. So I've now got them on my belly, so I'll get rid of a few of them. Take out our applicator sponge. Now the applicator sponges, you get six of those in a packet. Um, they genuinely are very good because if they don't stick down to the gluey surface, which is a really handy little thing. So you can just go in and burn it them. Now what we're going to do with this one is we're going to skip back to our die set and we're going to pick the die from the middle there, which is the one that comes in the centre of that lovely mosaic frame. And we're going to pick the nicest part. So let's go with this area here. And we're going to send that through our machine to cut out that panel to go on the centre of our card. Now we're also going to be using these flakes again in a moment. So I need to get one of those keys, don't I? Genuinely, I'm quite in love with them little keys. So we're going to have to get one of those keys from uh, the packet and the bundle I'm sharing with you. I didn't see that I would be that taken with them and go through quite so many. So we're going to take this one away and we then have our panel to go in the centre of our project ready cut. Now we know that that is going to be the perfect size to bring back an inlay into that middle area because it's the same die that's cut the aperture as what's cut the panel to go on the top there. And when I mentioned earlier about having the glue go through and we didn't want to see the glue on the inside of the card, this is exactly what I meant because I want to put this panel in place and I want to put glue over it to hold it in place. So I'm actually going to use one that I already did earlier with the golden jewel flakes and I've already gone ahead and added on lots of little red crystals to match in with that lovely paper that we're using behind the mosaic frame. So a little bit more cosmic shimmer dries clear glue onto there and we're going to place that down back into that opening so that it's nice and in place. And then we're going to work on our key. So let's find those keys and steal one of these out of the packet. So which one do I need? Where's that card gone? We want one where the key is going into the middle. So we're just going to take this and we're going to pop it straight out of the pack so that we've still got three more to work with. And as you can see, they're that perfectly cut and ready to work. All I'm going to do is go ahead and pop out that little cut bit from the bottom of the A. And then we're going to bring this back in. And we're going to bring back in our flaking glitter glue once again. Now, many ways we could colour our keys. So many options. It's up to you how you wish to do them. But I wanted this to match in with the rest of the project. So I'm just going to take away a bit of the excess there. I'm going to use my flaking glitter glue over the top of that sponge once again. And I'm going to go over the top of the key. Just so that is now ready to go ahead and cover in the same flakes as which we used on our lovely background. So I'll leave that just off the side for a second. We'll take away our flaking glitter glue and we'll put the lid back on that. The flaking glitter glue, by the way, also comes in smaller size bottles. So if you're looking at this one and thinking this one's quite a large size for me to play around with and begin with, there's a couple of different options available. So do have a little look on the website. We even have, I haven't got a bottle here to show you, but they're the same size. Oh, here you go. We start off at this size for the smallest bottle as such. There is also a highlighter, which gives you an ultra fine brushing in actually in the bottle for you to go in and highlight small areas. But for the actual sort of bulk way to buy the product, this one's the smallest bottle, which is a 30 ml bottle. And then we go up to the 125 ml bottle. So if you do just want to give it a little try, see how you get on. It's a nice way to try it before buying too much of it as such. We're then going to bring in our key again and we're going to bring in our flakes. I'm going to use our chocolate gold again. I'm going to place them down on the top. And again, using our sponge, we're going to burnish these over the top. And of course, the flakes are going to go on and stay in all of the places where we've put that glue down. So we're just going to burnish down. I'm going to lift the key up, give this a nice little brush over, making sure to get any flakes off of the edges. Moving around the sides taking away any excess bits and pieces with our lovely sponge and then have we got any bits on the words it wasn't too bad we're just going to use our pokey tool to go with these if you've got a brush as well a, a nice stiff brush can sometimes be handy but where these little um letters are quite fine this is quite a nice way to go and take off the excess so again we're going to pop our flakes back into our tub and then we can get rid of our paper and put our lid back on our face. And then we're going to bring in our key. And on my finished card, I built mine up with some foam pads. But for this little demo, we're just going to use some dry clear glue again. We're going to place the glue around it. 
and we're going to look to see where we want it to be. So let's go for roughly here on the project and we're going to place that down and let that settle. And at this point I'm going to bring in the finished card because with the finished one I've also added on a ribbon and because this um, key is MDF it's got a bit of weight to it so we're going to let that set in, in place for a moment while the glue takes hold. But this is your finished card. On top of that on the inside I've just added in a white and black layer so that I've got my mats and layers to add my sentiment to. And again I could use one of the stamps from the set to actually add on a sentiment on the inside if I wish to. But this is of course showing you how you can bring in that lovely background stamp, your keys and your mosaic frame just on the outside before we even think about what we could add on to the inside of the card. So let's move these bits out of the way and just very quickly run you through your bundle once again, just in case you've just sort of found the video halfway through. So let's try and clear up just a small amount so we can get to our bundle. So bundle wise, in your collection for August 2022, you are going to have a heritage ink pad giving you your eight different colours of pigment ink for you to work with. You are going to have your pine forest stencil, which is again perfect for embossing or playing with texture pastes or running through your machine or using as a, a, an, a place to use your inks. There's so many options. It's one of them you're just going to use time and time again. Matching tree stamp. Then we've got the lovely border stamp we were just using in the demo. We then have our lovely pearly border. We also have our mosaic frame set. And we have our Twas the Night before, uh, sorry, Twas the Night for the uh, set of dies. And on top of that, we've got our keys. And of course, yours isn't going to have one missing. That's just where I've overrun and stumbled it for my demo. But that is going to be all of your bundle. 66.47 is the recommended retail price for the bundle. Offer price, because it's a handpicked by Jamie bundle, is only £30. And once again, that does include free UK PMP. So you can have that delivered to your door for just £30. If you live anywhere else in the world, we ship literally all over the world. Our international shipping is currently capped at just £10. Uh, we try and keep it as cheap as we possibly can for you. If you pop onto the website and have a little look, you'll be able to see under the frequently asked questions under the customer service tab, how all of our shipping works. So do go have a little look at that and see if that's something you'd like to take advantage of. But we do try and keep it as cheap as we possibly can for you. And we literally ship all across the world on a daily basis. So please don't be scared if you are trying to buy from abroad. That's something we do quite a lot of. If you'd like to order this online, you can find our website at www.craftmaniacrafts.com or if you wish to, you can order via phone. Our phone lines are open from 9am to 7pm, seven days a week and the telephone number is 01493 843 666. You can also shop in store with us at Craftmania Essentials, 6 Regent Street, Great Yarmouth, Norfolk. And then that way you can browse at the rest of the products we have in store as well. If you're new to our website, you'll find over 10,000 paper craft items and crafty essentials that you can certainly not live without. There are loads of different offers for you and we do lots and lots of different things on there. So do go have a little browse and see what you can find. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to keep an eye out on the blog for the design team posts throughout the month, giving you more inspiration with your collection. Thanks for now. See you soon.